KVM uses two types of networking techniques. One is uh, NAT, another one is bridging. I'll just give you the brief uh, introduction to these two techniques so that it will be easy for you to understand whenever I give you the implementation part in my articles uh, that I post in in my website nxadminschool.com okay first uh, let's discuss about NAT NAT is nothing but uh, hiding the source address to the external world for example if it is uh, for example this is my I have some um, uh, this is my KVM host right and this is external world and I have one VM here, another VM here. I have IPX here, IPY here. This KVM host has a, having the IP address some um, um, ABC. This is the IP address. I'm giving the example. Okay. This is connected to the external world. Uh, this is a network switch. So we are connected to the external world, and this is connected here. So. Whenever this uh, VM want to communicate, I mean, whenever this VM want to communicate uh, to the external world, sending packets, it will send the packet with the source and destination address. So, if you are in 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 uh, in uh, TCP/IP world, the source is always the IP of this machine, and destination will be the IP of this machine. But in this case, I want to hide the IP here. I mean, I hide the actual IP of this VM, and instead of uh, instead of this uh, this IP, I want to give the IP of actual KVM host. So the source of this communication always ABC, and the destination will be whatever is there here. In similar way, if I want to communicate from here to here like this so again the source is always ABC and destination whatever is whatever we are giving here ok so in this way we are always mapping I mean we are always translating the source address to something uh, which is uh, different than the actual source so this kind of uh, network translation is called network uh, is, is done by network uh, address translation um, natting technique um, KVM in KVM we use this technique uh, to hide all the VM uh, IP addresses to the external board and uh, and this is this is useful if you don't want to directly connect to the each and every internal VM machines from the external uh, world and you just want to connect you just want to maintain some services or some applications and you don't want to connect from uh, from external world to internal VMs the, the the other side is uh, bridging okay uh, for example again this is KVM host. Okay, I have I have one physical interface. For example, ETH0. This is ETH0. One physical interface. I have three VMs here, right? So in this case, I just want to have a separate IP for each of these machines. One IPX, IPY, IPZ. The, when we are planning for a uh, KVM. I just want to have a separate IP for this individual VM so the implementation plan should have a bridging network uh, 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 in the implementation part how this bridging network happens here we have a interface right physical interface so on top of this physical interface you will create a bridge network bridge this network bridge can be created on a single physical interface or multiple physical interface if you have multiple physical interface on top of multiple physical interface so you will 
so it will be act as this this multiple physical interface will act as like aggregated pool so this uh, this individual vms will connect to this uh, this bridge this bridge interface into uh, this bridge interface as a separate ips so when from the from the external world i mean uh, from the external internet world or internet wo uh, intranet world whenever uh, if you have internet separate pcs or if you want to connect from external world you can directly connect to them by using their own ips like ping x or sshy or uh, scpj or just uh, uh, if they are if they are configured as a web server or application or something you can directly use their own ips or dns names or something so these kind of configurations are uh, possible only by using bridge networks okay this is about uh, kvm bridge network